Jupiter enters Gemini and Gemini is a mercurial sign. And, you know, and Mercury is the fastest planet that we have. So if, if things seem to have been slow and, and from what I'm hearing from, from, from people out there that everything seems to be going really, really fast, but if it was slow for you, this should pick up the pace just a bit. When Jupiter has entered Gemini, it's a, it's a faster moving sign. It's Jupiter is a, um, I think of it as a, as a fire type of planet. It's, it's, it's got that speedy energy. Yeah. Jupiter. Hello, Pisces. <laughs> when, it, when it's in Sagittarius, it, it's, it's more fiery. What is it? Hot and moist or hot and wet? Hot and wet, I think, because it's conducive to life. Starting Jupiter again. goes into Gemini. It'll retrograde um, around in October 9th, mm. and the then it stations direct in February. So Jupiter is moving into Gemini. Uh, Jupiter is still under the beams of the sun at this time. So it's not as powerful as it could be. It's in the sign of its detriment in this sign because Jupiter and Mercury are uh, kind of very different planets. Mercury is very um, detail orientated, whereas Jupiter is more big picture orientated. So when Jupiter is in a Mercury ruled sign, as it is when it's in Gemini, it's not as expansive as it could be. It's more focused on the details, but still, it's still a benefic. So hopefully it should bring a lot of uh, good things to people. I love both of those those benefics in a in a sign. If you are a Gemini rising, wow, this is both having both benefics in your in your first house is pretty nice. Oh, yes, very nice. Or tenth house, that would be nice too. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty much any any aspect when <laughs> you have both of those planets in in any of those in any of those houses, it would I I can't think of how it would be a bad thing six house might be a little bit troubling maybe 12th house too i think 12th house could could be mm. not as not as nice for sure 